Yeah, I got it. It's in the manifold. Shit, I just changed that seal. Must have got a crimp in it. Damn. Hey, C's, your boy is here. He ain't my boy. Hey. We're almost living a normal life, huh? This is far from Grove Street, right? Yeah, I know, but I just can't get it out the back of my mind. Mom, sweet, smoke. I just can't let that go. I know. So what we gonna do about sweet? See, it's a shitty situation, but I gotta let it play out a little longer, okay? Okay, but be careful. We ain't trying to lose you again. That's right, sis. Good looking out. Hey, Carl! I got a rap to you, Holmes. I know a guy who knows a guy who handles freight containers down on the docks. He saw one of the containers was loading up cars, and one was a match for a car on a customer's wish list. So he marked the container with a spray can, but it might be too late. The ship's loading and it moves out tomorrow. Go sort out the crane. Give me a second. We'll be quick. Cut slip out here. Caesar, none of these is marked with spray paint. Well, we'll just have to try one at a time, eh? One CJ.
Okay, try another! Shit, you know, the same way they got home. Use a dock side crane. Man, those things are real high up. I ain't too good with ladders. I'm afraid of heights. Okay, I use the crane. You better be ready to crack the containers. CJ. Okay, I'll go sort out the crane. Give me a sec. Well, be quick. I don't want to be caught slipping out here. Caesar, none of these is marked with spray paint. Well, we'll just have to try one at a time, eh? CJ!
CJ, try another! CJ, this is the one! Good work, Hobbs! Hey! What the fuck do you think you're doing? CJ, I can do with some help! Easier way to earn a living than this. Sure, man. I guess. But what else you qualified for? Shit, <laughs> I feel
Hey, Carl. Hey, what the fuck, man? Hey, Torino, I, I told you my bad, man. What the hell can I say? I screwed you Calm up. Calm down, kid. Just go ahead and kill me then. Calm down. Man, you ain't nothing but a fucking Yale dealer anyway, Torino. Shut up and sit down. Well, you think I'm a drug dealer? And you think you're a crusader for good? Do you have any idea what's going on? Any idea whatsoever? Do you? Do you? Nah, I pay as little attention to things as possible. Do not be a fucking smart ass with me. I work for a government agency. It is not important which one. I will try not to confuse you. Yes, when we last met, I was involved in battling threats in Latin America by any means necessary. That does not make me a drug dealer. Now, the money that we raised, the friends that we won over, have helped us immeasurably in our overseas interests. Government agency? Kids like you, you expect heroes. We're fighting a war out there. I'll be a hero and I'll lose. And what do we have? Communism in Ohio. People sharing. Nobody buying stuff. That kind of bullshit. So relax and listen. All right, all right. I'm listening. I know what kind of guy you are. I need a guy like you to do things I can't get caught doing. Like what? I need you to commandeer a truck. A rival agency with a confused social agenda. They got things that we need. Now, this is a two-man job. You'll need a friend. Use your sister's boyfriend, but don't tell him a thing. Remember, I'll be watching you. I got here as fast as I could, CJ. Yeah, you sure did. How you know I needed help? <laughs> Man, you losing it, Holmes. You phoned me a half hour ago. I did? I mean... Oh, yeah, I did. Sorry, man, I got a whole lot on my mind. Trying to start something today? We need to jack a truck on the freeway. It's headed to San Fierro. We can get on the freeway here, Holmes. <laughs> What's the plan? Oh, I'm gonna pull alongside, and you're gonna hop aboard. Oh shit, you didn't mention that on the phone. It'll be a walk to the park. Tell Kendall I love her. There's a rig up ahead.
Hey, man, where you been? I tricked one of the cars on our shopping list. But the crazy bitch, she drives like the devil. I've been following her for hours, but she stopped for nothing. You'd have to ram her off the road in order to get a chance to get her car, and you know a wrecked car is no good to us. I swear she's playing with me. Dude, calm down. If she playing with you, then she probably won't get one time involved until it turn ugly. We gotta find a way to stop her or slow her down. Too bad we can't involve the police. Cause then we could pop her crazy bitch tires and bang her crazy bitch ass in jail for being a danger to my sanity. You know what? I think I got an idea. Here, now. Don't screw around. What an asshole.
Roger that, big monkey. I got a 13-6 fat vulture. Need to acquire a drowning baby. Over. What? In 15 by the fat moon. Break your heart. Over and out. Carl, I need you to do me a favor. Yeah, I'll do you a proper injury, man. What you knowing about my brother? <laughs> Relax. He's in prison upstate. D-wing. Cell 13. To the left, I got a child killer who wants to rip his throat out. To the right of him, I got a white supremacist who wants to eat his heart, to be precise. Now, don't worry. Tenpenny and Pulaski are really relatively benign. Unless, of course, you're a family member of Officer Pendleberry, whom they shot when he threatened to expose them. But you do know all about that, right? <laughs> Damn! Hey, man, how you know all this stuff, man? And won't you stop it? You just don't understand, do you, kid? Look, it's all white knights and heroes. We have to make decisions, kid. You know, I try to set bad people on other bad people, and sometimes I let good guys die. He's your brother, but to me, he's just collateral. It's a very delicate decision. Look, over here, you got all the scumbags inside the country. And over here, you got all the scumbags outside the country. And me and my colleagues, we're the fucking pivot. Keep the government in work. Which reminds me, come here, okay? I need you to head over here in the buggy outside. Okay? Okay, let off a flare. We got some precious cargo needs collected. Hey, hold up. What about my brother and all that shit you was talking hey, about? Hey, hey, don't worry. Sweet's just fine. He gets touched. A prison guard goes home and finds that his wife and kids have been murdered. Everything's under control. We'll talk later. No. Come on, get out of here.
You ain't scaring me, and you ain't stopping me. Jeebies, man. Carl, I will always be watching, or listening, or both. It's amazing. What's up now, Torino? This history, it's all lies. It says Hitler killed himself, 
and then we nuke Japan. And people believe this shit. <laughs> Jesus. Well, if it makes them sleep better at night, I guess. Hey, man, what did you want? Is you gonna free my brother? No. Not now. And here's a little news flash. I said that to get you to do something for me. Man, you real fucked up. But the shocker is, we are gonna look after him. Because I need him alive as much as you do. Oh, thanks. You know, after what you've done for me, it's like you're a pro now. I got double agents in Panama. I want to put a price on your head. A Russian spy. Little fat Boris-looking guy. He's asking for clearance to interrogate you. Russian style. Calipers on the genitals. Feels good. You'd like it. That ain't nothing cool, man. Just leave me alone. You bad news. Don't worry about it. The Russians got bigger things to worry about than your genitals, believe me. The whole country went to shit. You know, we try hard to put a lid on it, but that idiot Gorbachev with his little strawberry in his forehead, he gave away the crown jewels. Still, they got their, you know, their boy in the White House. That was nice. So? What you want me to do? Now listen, I need you to buy me some property, okay? Shouldn't cost that much. You offer them a dollar. If they give you a hard time, kill them. I'm gonna need you to start doing some real wet work here for me soon, okay? Enough of this little girl bullshit. Now get out of here. Come on, beat it.